Hey everybody, JB here. Welcome back to Kraken Packs. Today we're going to be looking at 2223 OPG Platinum. So, mixed feelings on this one. On one hand, it's OPG Platinum, which is a very popular set. Uh, lots of people love this set and, you know, chase a lot of the parallels every single year for the big players. Um, on the other hand, it's a 2223 product, which is feels real weird. It's something we're used to from the past couple years trying to catch up from the big uh, print blockage at the beginning of the pandemic. So we, we opened a lot of 21-22 and 22-23 at the same time. Problem is now we're out with 23-24, which has Connor Bedard. And the Connor Bedard hunt is a lot more exciting than your average hockey year. So going back to 22-23 feels a little lackluster. There's still some players in here I'd love to get. Slavkovsky, Jake Sanderson, uh, a few others. So it's not a total bust, but... You just you don't have that anticipation of maybe opening a big bedard so we'll see how it feels going through it that's my initial impression um another thing about this set so last year they made a bit of a change they went to 12 cards per pack 12 packs per box so they've maintained that this year um they did make one small change if you're a bulk buyer uh the cases used to be 16 boxes in a case now with two inner cases of eight boxes a piece now they just do an eight box case. Uh, so it's, I mean, not a big change. You just buy two cases instead of one if you wanted the 16 boxes. Um, but that's just a small note. As far as the set goes itself, uh, they have added a couple new parallels this year. Uh, they added liquid metal, I think it's called, which goes in between uh, hot magma and violet pixels in terms of uh numbering and then they added a lower numbered one i think it's called cosmic it's something like out of 65 somewhere in that range so a few differences this year uh of course you know the, it's the emerald surges and the gold seismic golds and the orange checkers that are the ones that people are usually more interested in the low numbered ones of course there's the golden treasure one of ones but you're very unlikely to find one of those another nice thing about opg platinum is they'll still guarantee one autograph for box so we've seen a number of other sets lately where they're splitting the hit between, you know, sometimes you get an autograph, but sometimes in the case of ice, you get like a clear cut card or in some other products, you get a tech card or uh, maybe just a relic of some sort. But in any case, it's nice to see one where it's still a guaranteed autograph. Uh, but that's probably all the preamble I have for OPG Platinum. So let's get in here. I'll say about platinum is I, I've, I've traditionally been someone who has not been as big a fan of platinum as some other people. Uh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of chromium cards in general. Um, but uh, one thing I don't like about platinum is, you know, it, they've got that vintage OPG look, which I understand. And I still, we've had a lot of fun just opening paper OPG recently here on this channel. Um, but I think that it really doesn't suit the chromium look. So going with that plain kind of uh, OPG design for your base set I, I'm talking about here. Uh, I don't like the way there's so much just plain silver on these cards. So for me, if I'm going chromium, I like a lot of the things they're doing with uh, Allure rather than what they do with OPG Platinum here. Of course, Allure has some other problems they need to sort out. They need to figure out what the real chase inserts are going to be in that set and things like that. But if we're just talking about the look of the base card, I prefer Allure to uh, OPG Platinum. But I know I'm probably in the minority there. Lots of people love this set, so exciting times. We should be getting five numbered cards. At least we're guaranteed five numbered cards. Uh, as guaranteed as you ever are <laughs> opening these packs. Here's what the base looks like. So this is what I'm talking about. I mean, very silver, very shiny, uh, but pretty plain for the Chromium card. We should have three marquee rookies here. So we have William Bitten. Hey, there's Slavkovsky right off the bat. And Tyler Tucker. This is the new insert from this year, Galvanized, which I think is replacing the die-cut cards from last year. It's Dylan Holloway. We got a Retro. Evgeny Malkin and a marquee rookie pink Riley Walsh so the pinks should not be numbered it is not so that's just a parallel 
you'll have bases um all the base set will be parallel pink like that as well as the marquee rookies and there's three more base for our first pack yeah so really what we're looking for here in opg platinum i mean our autograph is going to hopefully be interesting it always has the chance to be interesting at least and then just some of the low numbered parallels of the base and of the marquee rookies um so hopefully we see some interesting ones there so we'll start off with our base again. Here's an Owen Power, Marky Rookie. Niels Amon and Jake Christensen. Here's another photo. No, we didn't. It's our first photo driven. So between galvanized, photo driven, and then uh, the Sweet Selections, which is another one that's been around for a while in OPG Platinum. Those are our kind of base inserts. Here's a Rookie Retro, Kent Johnson. It's not a bad one. And here's a pink Drake Batherson parallel. And then uh, a few more base at the back. Yeah, it definitely feels funny opening these packs and knowing that you're not going to open a Connor Bedard right off the bat, though. It definitely, you know, not something you notice when there hasn't been a talent like this around for a while. You know, basically Sydney. Uh, nope, not Sydney Crosby. There was Connor McDavid since then, uh, but going back to Connor McDavid's year, that was the last time you kind of had a player you were really, really hoping for like this. I mean, there was a lot of hype, I guess, two years ago about uh, Lafreniere, but it, it still felt a little bit different. I don't. I mean, he definitely was hyped up huge. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it was quite the same level. Uh, there's our three marquee rookies for this pack. And then we have a rainbow, Thomas Bortolo. So these retros come in parallels as well. See this one here does not say rainbow. This one says rainbow. Uh, there's the last one, uh, Sweet Selections, which I actually really like the design of the Sweet Selections this year. I like the little uh, team colors in the name box down there. And a regular retro Tanner Jeannot. That's our first veteran retro. Anyway, yeah, so going back to Bedard. McDavid was around. A lot of hype, a lot of excitement that year. But then for several years after that, you know, you don't have a, a, a let's say, generational talent like they call these guys these days. Um, and you just kind of get used to opening hockey sets where you're not expecting that. You're just kind of hoping for whoever the best rookies are that year. Uh, but now that we have Bedard again, it does feel a little funny going backwards to a previous set. Imama, Soderblom, and Oli Lixell, where you know you're not going to get... No matter what we open here today, it's not going to reach the same heights as the Connor Bedard cards we're going to open in 23-24. Photo-driven Shane Wright. Here's another... Oh, this is our first actual rainbow marquee rookie. We got Vladislav Kolyachinok. And a red prism, which should be numbered. Ryan O'Reilly. Oops. Yeah, numbered to 199. So that's our first numbered card here, I think. Yes. So we should have at least four more of those. Getting all our retros out of the way early. So hopefully the back end is loaded with numbered cards. Looks like another red here. We got Wyatt Johnson, Marky Rookie. Nick Blankenberg. And Declan Chisholm. And then we got a Lucas Raymond galvanized. Looks like we got a Marky Rookie Rainbow of Marky of Marco Rossi. I like Marco Rossi, so I'm gonna throw him up here. It's former Ottawa 67. And then a Thomas Hurdle Red Prism. Don't like seeing two red prisms in my box. I'd rather see a bunch of the higher numbered ones because then I don't know if this is accurate, but I always feel like if I get a bunch of the higher numbered ones, then 
there's a higher chance that the last one will be a lowered numbered one whereas it seems like if you get a bunch of kind of middle numbered ones like the 199 on the red prism you just get a bunch of middle numbered ones and i'd rather just have a single very low numbered one but I, that, that's not backed up by any data that's just my gut feeling so who knows maybe i'm completely wrong about that here's a jack quinn marquee rookie another former ottawa 67 McPerbix and Hunter Drew. We got a sweet selection, Matt Boldy. We've got a rainbow, Jacob Markstrom. And then we got a hot magma, uh, Nikolai Ehlers. Just trying to figure out if I already had a rainbow, but my only other rainbow was a rookie, so I guess we'll start a new pile there. So yeah, these ones are pretty high. Yeah, four ninety nine on the hot magma. So might as well not even have a number at that point, in my opinion. I think if you if you're numbering it to more than one hundred, I think it's completely worthless to have a number on it. That's the way I see it. In terms of the cards that I want to collect, I might go for a higher numbered card if I just like the look of a card. But in that case, I'm not really going for it because of its rarity i'm just going for it because i like the way it looks oh no another red my th my theory is holding true so far a bunch of middling numbered guards uh we got oh victor lodin marky rookie lucas dostal and valtteri pustinen we got a photo-driven Moritz Sider. Another rainbow, Jeremy Swayman. Getting all the goalie rainbows. And a Patrick Kane. Uh, Patrick Kane still in a Chicago Blackhawks jersey. Was it the, just at the deadline where he went to the Rangers last year? That's possible. So maybe it's fine that he's in a Blackhawks jersey. Three red prisms. Not in love with that. So, Nick Chichek, Kent Johnson, Riley Walsh. There's our marquee rookies for this pack. Photo driven Maddie Veneers. Michael Bunting. Ooh, and no, that's a retro, but it is a nice parallel retro, I think, here. So let's see what we got. Blackhawks. That's not exciting last year, right? That's only exciting this year. Put that at the back. Get these base out of the way. Is that a no, that's a regular helmet on top. It's Patrick Kane again. So there's the Hound's Tooth to 15 Retro Parallel of Patty Kane. Okay, so that is the type of numbering I'm looking for. Out of 15 is real nice. I don't know about the hand, Hound's Tooth as a theme. Oh, this Michael Bunting was a rainbow that I was using to reveal him. Yeah, I don't know about the hound's tooth, but it looks kind of cool. So that is five numbered cards now. So anything from here on in is a bonus. And if we're lucky, our autograph will also be numbered. Here's a Ronnie Attard, Linus Sandine. And Matty Beneers, marquee rookie. He's a good one. Who got Gabriel Landeskog galvanized. And Andre Svechnikov. Oh, rookie autograph behind it. Andre Svechnikov, rainbow, some base. And let's see. So this doesn't look numbered, but let's see who our rookie auto is going to be. Uh oh. Pittsburgh Penguins. Well, Terry Pustin in. All right. 
Valtteri Pustin in rainbow autograph. Not quite what I was hoping for. Interesting, interesting auto. Uh, it doesn't look like he's had a lot of practice with that. But hey, at least he tried to sign his full name, which I'll take any day over just a couple initials. There's some more base. We got an Eric Calgren, an Isaac Ratcliffe, and a Dylan Sandberg, a marquee rookie. Looks like we got a sunset in here, which is another unnumbered parallel behind this own power sweet selection and elder Soderblom rookie retro. It's Marco Rossi. There you go. Put that aside just because it's a parallel of the same card. Like I said, the sunsets are not numbered, so they're not the most sought after parallel by any means. Two left. Just looking for bonus numbered cards at this point. Or an extremely rare bonus autograph. Uh, looks like we got a liquid metal in here. So it is a bonus numbered card, but it is fairly high number. Uh, there's an Arbor Jakai, a Matthias Michelli, and a Mac Hallwell. Sebastian Aho, photo driven. Elvis Mers Lickens, retro. Only our second veteran retro. Uh, I guess the Patrick Kane counts as a veteran retro as well. Here's a Kevin Fiala base sunset parallel. And there is the liquid metal. So this is numbered to like three ninety nine or something, three forty nine. Uh, interesting look to it. I thought it looked the promos made it look a lot more yellow, yellow gold. And in person here, it looks just a lot more black. It definitely has a slight yellowish tint, but predominantly black in person. The last two base from that pack, and then the last pack. So come on, big surprise in this pack. Base, base, base. We got Linus Het Hogberg. Marky Rookie. Dylan Gunther, another sweet Marky Rookie. And Samuel Fajimo. We got a Marco Rossi sweet selection. A uh, Nathan McKinnon retro. And then another sunset. Adrian Kempe. All right, so no big surprises in the last pack. Overall, a decent box. Getting the Patrick Kane number to 15 is actually not too bad. Uh, the auto is a bit of a bust. We got a bunch of good uh, marquee rookies, actually, but um, the parallels are, are definitely the more sought-after versions of these marquee rookies than just the base version. Uh, but we did get a rainbow Marco Rossi and then a non-numbered sunset Marco Rossi. Anyway, that is OPG Platinum for this year. Uh, overall, you know what? I actually kind of liked it a little bit more, I think, than I have in the past few years. Uh, maybe it's just growing on me. I don't know. Um, but I could see my... Like, if you if you hit the right cards, I could see how this could be more fun than I've given it credit for in the past. Uh, but I also have one little surprise as well. The opening a new set uh, that doesn't feature uh, Connor Bedard at this point feels a little lackluster like I said so also out yesterday is the 23-24 NHL All-Star Rookies so we're going to go ahead and open this too uh, so this is an interesting set so what this is is this is a box set so it's a 25 card uh, rookie only set that's released every year and inside this box is one pack that will have all 25 of those cards right but it also has one parallel. And now the parallel can be uh, any of those base cards, and there's a number of different things it can be. So the most common parallel is just a plain blue parallel of one of those cards. Uh, but there are some lower numbered parallels. There are some autographs as well. I think there's even numbered autographs. Uh, so what we're hoping for in here is for our one parallel to be Connor Bedard. Uh, this is the type of thing, it, it's, it's really funny to me. They. If you go back to uh, you know Connor McDavid's year, there basically were no parallels. This was just a 25-card rookie set. But there was a very small chance 
that you could open an autograph. I think each player in the 25 card set had like 20 autographs, something along those lines. Uh, but over the years, they've introduced more and more parallels to the point where you get a parallel in every single box now. But I think it's really funny in a set like this because since you get the full 25 card base set in every box, uh, after your first box, you're just paying the full price of the box just for the one parallel. So, I mean, obviously that works out if you open Connor Bedard, but if you don't, uh, probably not great for you. All right, excessive packaging out of the way. So that's what the base card looks like. Kevin Korczynski up front. Uh, we're gonna try and, I'm pretty sure the very last card in this pack is gonna be the insert. So we're gonna try and not turn it around while we get all this cellophane off. Anyway, just a little spice to this video since we're very used to hunting for Connor Bedard now. And we weren't going to get any in 22-23 OPG Platinum. Uh, I think what we're going to do is... Oh, yeah, we got a blue there at the back. So a little lackluster already. We're not going to look at all these rookies. Uh, they all look the same. It's all the good guys are in here. And then, you know, some people like Marco Casper. Uh, so I guess knowing that this is just the most common insert we're just hoping that it is connor bedard and that is not connor bedard but it is adam fantilli so there you go so i mean there's only 25 rookies in this set right so pretty pretty good chance that if it's not connor bedard it's going to be someone decent uh i think bedard is really the only reason to get excited about this set though and probably you don't want to buy more than one box because uh you get your full base set there anyway um but I got a little bit of a confession to make as well while we're here. So I actually did all of this exact same thing yesterday. Uh, I recorded the whole video, a box of OPG Platinum and a box of All-Star Rookies. And then as I was going to edit it to upload it to YouTube, I realized that my microphone had been off this whole time and it didn't get any ad audio. So I considered just, uh, you know, redubbing over top of the video, but I thought, you know what, forget it. Let's just re-roll. Um... I didn't have a lot of uh, hits in my OPG Platinum box yesterday that's worth showing you, but I did want to show you that I still have a bit of a horseshoe going on uh, for Connor Bedard. So uh, here's just a quick silent clip of my Star Rookies box from yesterday. All right, so there you go. I still can pull them. Hopefully next week, Series 2 is here, and uh, that luck continues because I'll be looking for a bunch of Bedard in, uh, in the case of that that I'm going to go through. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, if you like seeing hockey sets reviewed before you decide whether or not you want to spend your own money on them, then please like this video and subscribe to the channel. You will be notified every time a new product comes out because I will be sure to review it. Uh, next time I'm back should be next week with Upper Deck Series 2 and hopefully lots of Connor Bedard. All right, everyone, until next time, thanks for watching.